Hello, my friends. And hello, my friends. It is I, Song Quan. And... and Whoa! <laughs> the Song Quan! <laughs> and today I'm with my friend Mike Johnson. And we're going to talk about fighting games. Yep. Hmm. What do we want to talk about with fighting games? Maybe a top ten list, eh? Yeah. Sure. All right. Do you want us to swing, or do you want me to swing? Um, I don't want to put them in order because that's just too damn hard. Yeah, that's just too hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I will name off my top ten favorite fighting games. You know, like my ten favorites. Yeah, I can agree with that. It's really hard to put them in any order. Yep. One of my favorite fighting games is definitely Mortal Kombat. <laughs> like all of them. I played the I played the first Mortal Kombat when I was like eight years old. <laughs> I think we were all eight years old when that game came out. And the game oh. immediately blew my mind, especially when I saw the pit. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw the pit, I was just like, "Whoa, man!" <laughs> heavy duty, bro. It was the most effed up thing I've seen in a fighting game. <laughs> um, so just all the Mortal Kombat. It's not a, what's your favorite Mortal Kombat game? My very favorite Mortal Kombat game is probably... Oh. Um, I don't know. It's so hard. <laughs> Would you say like uh, uh, Armageddon? Um... I know you like Armageddon a lot. I know. I, I like them all. <laughs> like I, I really liked Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. I really liked Armageddon. I really liked Mortal Kombat 9. Those are my th favorite three Mortal Kombats. Okay. Well, we got, we got Mortal Kombat 11 coming soon. Yeah, I gotta play that. <laughs> I'm so I'm so excited for Mortal Kombat 11. Ed um, Boon never lets me down, man. Like never lets you down. Uh, all right. Um, I'm not gonna do mine in any order because that's just kind of like they could move at any time. It depends on like the day. <laughs> <laughs> Ball rock inputs aren't going in. I'm not playing Street Fighter 4 no more. Street Fighter 5. <laughs> but no. Uh. Uh. My number 10 game on this list is going to be Garo Mark of the Wolves. That is a good one. Um, well, you know specifically, I'm just a huge fan of this game. Uh, it was like the first Dreamcast game that I played and I was like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I put that thing in my Dreamcast and it pro it's... I think literally the only time it gets taken out now is when I play Cannon Spike. <laughs> and it goes right back in. Uh, characters selection is good. The and the stage freaking freaking Grant and Kane on the hardest difficulty make you want to like punch your controller through the earth. <laughs> um, even the PlayStation 4 remake is really good for it. It's fun to play. But yeah, Garo would be my number 10 pick. Nice. That's a good one. Uh, for me, another fighting game of mine that's my favorite is King of Fighters. I absolutely love SNK fighting games. They're pretty damn good. Yeah. Not not a single King of Fighters has let me down. That That's why it's one of my favorites. Hmm. hmm. And uh got a particular one? I don't know. It's that's a hard one to choose too. That none of them let me down, like for real. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard doing top list because when you realize that you're just a fan of a series of games, you know, like when somebody asks you, like, what's your favorite game in that series, and I'm just like, I got like seven favorite games in that series. <laughs> yeah. Like. King of Fighters 97, 98, 99, King of Fighters 11, 
King of Fighters 13 is really good. I mean, crap, any of the Orochi Saga <laughs> is super good. Mm -hmm. I agree, King of Fighters is a good choice. The, the whole reason I got into SNK fighting games in the first place was because they they had Kim Kafwan. <laughs> and Kim is the very first Korean fighting game character ever in history. And ever since I was just in, I was like, wow. <laughs> You're all using mine now. Crazy. That's a, Yeah, I mean... Doing a top ten is just... Ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, we're just talking about our favorite fighting games yeah, today. Yeah, that. We're just talking about <laughs> our favorite fighting games. What's um, your next favorite fighting game? Uh, so... I don't know if people will classify this as a fighting game, but... I do, because it caused fights in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Duh, dude, Def Jam. <laughs> we would get so mad at each other because somebody would get altered at the end would get like the suit like the freaking the finisher done to him and they were just so disrespectful <laughs> <laughs> the person next to you would, when we were younger i just i would literally be watching other people play and the second something like that happened to somebody the controller got set down and there was a big pop off that happened <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, here we go. Uh, another coffee table is going to get broken. And uh, good thing we're not at my house this week. <laughs> <laughs> now, great game series. Uh, I liked them all. I mean, even the fourth one, the one on uh, the PS3 icon, I, I didn't like it as much as the other ones. Like the Fight for New York and the, like, the first, the first two, and then the PSP one were all really good. <clears throat> but even, I mean, I played Icon 2, and it, it wasn't as good as the original 3, but I still had fun. Oh. Uh. The Belch Contest today. <laughs> My next favorite fighting game is... Hmm. Tekken. <laughs> <laughs> Tekken also has two of my favorite fighting game characters ever. Harong and Beck Dosan. <laughs> Man, you just like the Taekwondo guys. Yeah, I love the Taekwondo guys because I'm a Taekwondo guy myself. And it's just so cool to see it on the screen. Some authentic Taekwondo. And, uh... Yeah. I like Tekken because... Of the controls, you got your left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg. It, it's like you're operating a person, but it still f feels very arcadey. And uh, I don't know, it's it's just a really good fighting game. <laughs> it's really deep and complicated, yet simple to play. It's like hard to master. <laughs> Okay, so my next one is just an individual fighting game in a series. Soul Calibur 3. Anybody can argue with me about this, but Soul Calibur 3 is the best Soul Calibur game of all time. In my opinion. And I, I'm open to hearing other people's arguments for other versions of the game because they're all pretty good, but... Three's create a character, the create a move set, the create the 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 tower. Fighting all those fighting all those guys in tower mode was insane. And at the end, fighting the final boss of that st stupid tower mode just literally when you beat them, you it felt like a Dark Souls victory. You were like, yes, <laughs> <laughs> like. It has begun! <laughs> <laughs> I challenge you to Mortal Kombat. Eh. And he mortally combated you. <laughs> out, off the ring. A bajillion times. <laughs> Until you learned how to sidestep and then <laughs> boot him off to the ring. <laughs> yep. Soul Calibur 3. By, 
by far the the best Soul Calibur in my opinion. Soul Calibur three had a plenty of fighting styles in it. Like if remember how you can create a character and your own created characters get their own little fighting styles too. Yeah. Like the double nunchucks, that was awesome. It was like Maxi on crack. You were mm-hmm. like, <laughs> I love the double nunchucks. Or the, uh, like, Tom had the Tonfa or whatever. Mm-hmm. You could do like the two Tonfa moves, and you could literally make your character moon moonwalk across the stage on the Tonfas. <laughs> <laughs> yep, good stuff. Mm-hmm. Soul Calibur Three also had the best soundtrack. If you ask me. Like I'm saying, dude, it's just a solid game, man. Yeah, I can totally see why you chose three. It's like, so so Soul Edge, the first one, that I played on uh, Dreamcast, or Soul Blade, sorry. All right, I played it on the on the PS1 first, which is kind of blasphemy in some people's opinion, but because <laughs> I own a Dreamcast. <laughs> but, man, uh, you know, that game... Would probably be on the top because of its soundtrack alone. Like the Edge of Soul, just the intro song to that game is legendary. If that also Caliber Three didn't need it to be the perfect fighting game, in my opinion, just take that that intro song and that video and put it on Soul Caliber Three. Just update the graphics. <laughs> Guest characters didn't really mean anything to me because of Soul Caliber Two. You know, they're, they're cool. They're, uh, I know Geralt's, like, really big. SEO Auditore was in 5. He shot people with a crossbow. Didn't make any damn sense. Geralt, <laughs> he'll freeze you in time and do some winter shit. And, you know, and but Soul Calibur 3, I'm good with just Yoshimitsu. <laughs> Yoshimitsu. <clears throat> and, uh... I also like Street Fighter. Street Fighter 2 is the very first fighting game I ever owned. And I I spent so many hours on that game. <laughs> I got rid of all my thumb pains on that game. <laughs> you build these fine calluses in between the ridges of your thumbs from learning how to hold down and flick your finger forward for the quarter circle and hit the A button. Yep. I got rid of all my thumb pains on that game. And Bison is a son of a bitch. He still is a son of a bitch. I still don't like fighting Bison. (laughs) If you're a Bison player, you can go screw yourself. (laughs) (laughs) And, uh, yeah. Bison is M. Bison is M. Chrysan. Yep. And Ryu and Ken, they're just so fun to be. I don't know what it is. (laughs) (laughs) I am Ken, Masters. I win every tournament, I know. (laughs) Um... Do you have a... uh, Just, you like Street Fighter 2 the most? Because that... The one that you put the most time in on, do you think? I might have. <laughs> yeah. That might be the fighting game that I pour the most hour on. It, it might be. <laughs> Just 1990 Song Kwan sitting in his like little room, face glued to a CRT TV going like this. Yep. Just flicking your thumbs back and forth. And my parents never let me play any video games until I was done with my homework. <laughs> so you blitzkrieg through that stuff. Yeah. Uh, my next one is uh, so it's it's weird because I I bought an Xbox One for a fighting game. I bought my Xbox One for Killer Instinct. Oh. Mainly because uh, I wanted to show some love because when that game first came out, dude, that game was like. My jam, playing Killer Instinct Gold and freaking uh, the first one on the the Super Nintendo and the and the Killer Instinct Gold on the sixty four or whatever. Uh, man, the soundtrack to that game is legendary to this day, in my opinion as well. Like Orchid Stage and freaking TJ Combos got the freaking the boxing meet in the background. Oh man, so good. And 
combo breakering people. They're like, I got you in a combo, and then you punch the dust off their ass in the middle of the combo, and you ain't got shit. You know, the next game, it's not really a fighting game, but I really like Final Fight and Streets of Rage 2. <laughs> so Final Fight 2 and Streets of Rage 2, or just Final Fight in general? Um, Final Fight 1. I spent the most quarters on Final Fight 1. <laughs> I played that game so much in the arcades. And when I owned the Sega Genesis, I played Streets of Rage 2, like, way too much. <laughs> it was religion? Yeah, it was religion for a while. It was my... Yeah, it was just too good. Sweet. Uh, so... It's time to take you for a ride, man. Some Marvel vs. Capcom. <laughs> Gonna take you for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 I played that game That's like the arcade game I've probably played the most of Like, period <laughs> There was a Pizza Hut across the street from our house When uh, when I first moved to Minnesota It was right, not across the street, but down the street from our house And they had a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 machine there I would run there after school I would like book and I would not eat lunch because I would take the quarters from the two seventy five from school lunch. <laughs> I would go, I would go play <laughs> MVC two, uh, or well, MVC they had an MVC or a, they had an X Men versus uh, a Marvel superheroes machine. I played a lot of, and then they upgraded that to an MVC two machine. I miss that place very much. I played the garbage out of those two machines. You know, I bought a Dreamcast just to play Soul Calibur 1. <laughs> Did you? Yep. Soul Calibur 1 was so damn good that I stole it. <laughs> <laughs> I borrowed it. Hey, hey, Dustin, are you listening? <laughs> Dust, Dustin Ani? Hey, Dustin, do, do you remember me borrowing Soul Calibur from you? <laughs> When we were in high school, <laughs> then I told you that I lost it. <laughs> I didn't lose it, dude. I I stole it from you. <laughs> it is terrible, but it was just that good. <laughs> but it wasn't as good as Soul Calibur Three. I know. Well, it hasn't come out yet. <laughs> Oh, but man. but I'm really sorry, Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he knew that I stole it. <laughs> Admitting the thievery on on podcast or on recording. That's... Yeah, this is a little bit of a gamer confession here. Oh damn! <laughs> that's gonna be I, a whole another a whole another bag of worms, bro. I got another gamer confession to make. <laughs> oh boy, let's. <laughs> Let's save that for another skit. <laughs> um, so my next one is my favorite Street Fighter game. And that's uh, Street Fighter Third Strike. I knew that was coming somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I love, uh, I'm an oddball, dude. I don't play the regular characters in that game. I play 12, Necro, and Elena. <laughs> and Hugo. Uh, I play Ken, Elena, and uh, Remy. Oh, like, <laughs> I, I even dabbled with Ryu, but I got a friend who would pick the Shin Shoryuken, and he just would let you hit him to build meter, and he would always catch you with that stupid, <laughs> and it would just destroy me, uh, but he knows who he is, he knows, the legend, the legendary tank you, as I called him. Because he would literally use Ryu as a tank. <laughs> but, get it on now, select to make the first pick. Get it on now, <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. <laughs> get it on, yo, choose and select the best one. <laughs> 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> you know what they say. 
That third strike is what counts. <laughs> you know what kind of had a good song? Like, did you... Did, you played DOA 5, right? Yeah. You ever play that online? Yeah, that that uh, the background menu song? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, there's a time to brag and time to fight. Everything's a weapon when you're holding it right. So, check your left and guard your right. <laughs> Everything with a weapon in Dead or Alive. You can literally kick anybody in anything and get a movie going on. <laughs> Which, uh, if we're going to talk Dead or Alive, we got to remember the best one. Hmm. Dead or Alive 3. Dead or Alive 3. 3 was pretty good. Like, two, two, Dead or Alive 2 Hardcore was pretty good, too. But 3, dude, when, oh, man, when they added the tag team supers... <laughs> Freaking Jamley and I'm putting their foot on each side of somebody's head and breaking their neck like they're doing a high five with their feet. <laughs> it's so disrespectful. Uh, speaking of Dead or Alive, I I played Dead or Alive one the most <laughs> on the PS One or the Dreamcast. Yeah, PS One. I was like 12 or 13. I don't know. I was just a little perv. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it said intense martial arts action on the front of it. It had two women with extremely big tests. I know. Like, I was just perving out to that game. I couldn't get enough. <laughs> <laughs> so this next one I think we're both going to agree on, bro. Virtual Fighter 5. Oh, yes. Virtual Fighter cannot be... Virtual Fighter has to be talked about in my channel. Yeah. <laughs> I liked 4 Evolution was really good, but 5 Final Showdown, prob like, in my opinion, like, this internet people, go ahead and hate on me for this. I love you anyway. Virtual Fighter 5 Final Showdown is probably the most technical fighting game of all time. Yeah. <laughs> like, in come forth and argue... P people who believe in the parry system because Virtual Fighter will, it will kick your butt. <laughs> My favorite Virtual Fighter character is Jackie. Um, Eileen for me. Oh, monkey. <laughs> um, I liked uh, like one through. I think like the the first few games I was a huge. I like Jeffrey. Uh, just because the Sambo grabs that he would do, they were freaking sweet in my opinion. Uh, and then in, in 3, I started playing Wolf. And then 4, I played Akira. And then all of a sudden, I started playing Eileen in 5. And that's... Yeah, dude, that was, that was my jam. <laughs> Go was a really cool character. Ju yeah. That judo guy. Yeah, like, he's cool, uh... He does a crap ton of damage for no apparent reason. Like, if he just touches you, it's like your life goes... Boom. <laughs> like, you're, like, gone. You know who else does a crap ton of damage for no reason? Frickin' Negan. <laughs> In Tekken? Negan in Tekken 7 does a crap ton of damage <laughs> for no apparent gotta reason. Gotta have your shitting pants on. Oh. <laughs> uh. Good times, though. Um, yeah, like, I don't know, Virtual Fighter Five, dude. Probably, like, one of the most technical fighting games of all time. The most, in my opinion. Because you could slip, you could slip moves. You could parry them with a little dat forward-forward. You could push the opponent away in the middle of a move. <clears throat> and when, when somebody, you know, when you whiffed an attack, you were like, because <laughs> you were about to get got. <laughs> you know what's a funny game I like? A bloody Roar. <laughs> bloody Roar is awesome, dude. Bakuru, the mole. It's too bad that game is gone now. Jenny the Bat. Yeah, Jenny the Bat is my best. Because she's a Taekwondo bat lady. <laughs> you know what's funny? The rabbit, Alice the rabbit, does taekwondo too. Really? Yeah. 
But man, my boy Bushizima the chameleon, what's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> that freaking emperor penguin. Oh yeah, man. You know what fighting games I did not like? <laughs> oh. Actually, yeah, that, 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 that should be a different podcast, shouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck it. I didn't like Injustice. Oh, you're hurting my feelings, dude. I like those games. I, I didn't hate it, but, you know, it's from the makers of Mortal Kombat, and if you ask me, I, I would rather play Mortal Kombat. <laughs> but Ed Boon never lets you down. Yeah, Ed Boon never lets me down. I mean, I, I liked Injustice enough to play it. I had beat the story mode, and it was decent. You want to know why I'm a huge fan of that game? Hmm. That boy gave me my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles back. Ooh. <laughs> I squealed. Like, straight pig squealed. The straight otaku schoolgirl squealed. When, when Leonardo and Raphael popped up in the trailer for Injustice 2... When, or not when Leonardo, when Raphael popped up walking up in the freaking trench coat with the little hat from the 1989 movie or whatever. I, when I saw that, I was like, ah! <laughs> jumping up and down like a little circle. TMNT for life. You know, there's not many fighting games that I don't like. Oh, let's talk about Fight Night. <laughs> I like Fight Night a lot. You're you're damn good at it too. <laughs> the reason why I like Fight Night so much is because like it's that sweet silence. Yeah, like it's the most realistic fighting game, if you ask me. You know. Yeah, uh, it's up there. I think UFC is up there too. Like the uh, the UFC for the EA Sports ones. Yeah, I haven't tried UFC games so. If you like Fight Night, dude, you would love UFC. I shall give it a try. I'm going to throw an oddball out there. Victorious Boxers. <laughs> I'm, you already know, Hajime no Ippo, man. One of my favorite <laughs> animes. Yeah, that is a good anime. Punching people. Oh, man. Uh, the, the one for the Wii. The Victorious Boxers for the Nintendo Wii. Is one of the the greatest heads up like fighting games in my opinion, because you you pick these like nonchalant like these crazy looking goofball characters that if you haven't played ha- or watched Hajime no Ippo you have no idea who they are, and like somebody always picks like Toby, and he just runs in and like starts headbutting, <laughs> and just starts mouth punching them. <laughs> For those of you who don't who haven't watched the series. It probably makes no sense to you what I just said. But if you've watched Hajime no Ippo, you know that Miss Mr. Takamura is the true bear shirt wearer. Great game, though. Oh, well, I'm running out of fighting games. Oh, I can keep going, dude. Oh, what else you got? Uh, Battle <laughs> Fantasia on the PS3 and the Xbox 360 was really fun if you want. I mean, it's not like it's the most flush out game, and we're sinners because we can never forget about Guilty Gear. Oh, yeah. That's how me and you met. Is it? Yeah. We were at J. Kills, our friend, probably shouldn't pop drop names here, but we were at our friend's house that night, and we were talking about fighting games, and you had mentioned that you were like, yeah. Have you ever played Guilty Gear? And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a big Chip fan. And then, like, a couple days later, we found out we live, like, down the street from each other. <laughs> and that's how we started playing games together. Mm. And eventually, Guilty Gear transcended into something way, 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 way cooler. <laughs> uh, here's my uh, Guilty Gamer pleasure. I never played Resident Evil 4 until, like, 2008. <laughs> <laughs> Like, the PS3 was already out, <laughs> and I had not played Resident Evil 4, and Song came over, and he was like, yeah, man, uh, you want to play Resident Evil with me? And I was like, like, the old ones on the PS1? And he goes, 
Resident Evil 4, and I was like, what the fuck is Resident Evil 4? <laughs> and then I learned about, what are you buying? <laughs> what are you selling? That's my favorite character in Resident Evil, in the whole franchise. Yep, and uh, we proceeded to beat that game like ten times together, you and I did. Yep. His name is The Merchant, but I call him The Stranger. <laughs> And that barn, that barn battle will always be notorious in my life. For <laughs> when that dude with the chainsaw runs up the stairs, I'm like, he just came out of nowhere the first time me and you were playing through that game. I was like, whoa, shit. <laughs> my mom's just like, what, what happened, what happened? I'm like, some asshole with the chainsaw. <laughs> and you're running after me. She was like, well, don't be an idiot. I'm like, it's a game. I can't be. <laughs> no, nah, but good, good times. I mean, there's so many good fighting games like that have just come out of the woodwork recently. Like Blade Strangers, I think is fun. Like the only one I don't think that's recently that came out was fun was the SNK Heroines game. I mean, it's okay, but it's like I got. You know, it's not because Terry Bogard is a woman. Everybody, <laughs> all right. The Buster Wolf can be a Busty Wolf or the Buster Wolf, and I'll be fine with that. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. It's just, it's like one button, you know? Yeah. Or it it gets old really quick. It gets old really quick. But, you know, like, Blade Strangers is fun. Um, like, I, I like I like Blaze Blue. I like Fighting Layer, e, or EX Fighting Layer, or Fighting Layer EX, whatever you freaking call it. I own that one. I, me and you, between me and you, we gotta own like some 100, 200 fighting games. Yeah. I like Street Fighter Alpha 3. <laughs> yeah, dude, dramatic battle, bro. And World Tour mode. That's probably got like the, one of the coolest story modes, in my opinion. Because, mm -hmm. like, you just travel the world and you get like a little glimpse of story before every fight or whatever. And Sagat talks hella shit to you. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, you see the scar on my chest. I will never forget what you have done. And then, like, Adon's like, you ruined my master. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hit you with the Jaguar kick. <laughs> Jaguar. Rose is trying to save the world from people we don't know exist in the fighting game yet. <laughs> Rose is one of my favorite characters, actually. <laughs> reflect, 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 <laughs> reflect. Sword spot. Oh, good stuff, though. But, uh, I mean, there's just, <laughs> I got one for you. This might not, this, people might shun me for this one, but WWE All-Stars is an amazing <laughs> fighting game. <laughs> it's a fighting game. I'll consider it a fighting game till the day I die. Needs to come back, needs to be remade for PS4. <laughs> You know, we, we haven't talked about Smash Brothers, but I, I'll be honest. I'm, I mean, I'm a PlayStation guy, so I never got to play it. <laughs> uh, so, like, Super Smash Brothers, I, I, I consider it to be a fighting game. A lot of people consider it to be a brawler, but, man, Super, uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate has, like, 70-plus. It has over 70 characters. Yeah, I saw that. It's just, like... At this point, you can down beat anybody with any character from any game, and as long as you're a fan of any of the Nintendo series, you know, even even if you're a Street Fighter fan, Ken and me, you are in the game. Like, oh, you like Final Fantasy? Oh, you got Cloud. You like Bayonetta? You got Bayonetta. You're a Persona fan. They put the Joker in there. <laughs> it's like, is there any... I swear all they need is, like, Sub-Zero and Hayachi, and then it's like... Fighters Mega Mix Extreme. Now I feel bad about saying I don't like Injustice because I really enjoyed being Joker. <laughs> Joker was a really fun character. Yeah, the, that game is very, you know, it, it, it might not appeal to everybody, but like when you sit down and play it, the mechanics are good. Mm hmm. <sighs> Bleep, 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 bleep. That's all, folks. 
Yeah, that's all for me, too. Yeah, dude. Like, hopefully we see you out there on the interwebs. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Did we literally talk for 35 minutes? What, what do I do? Hit stop recording. Well, okay.